Hey, welcome back. It's good to see you again. I'm really excited to show you this cool capability when you combine Microsoft Power Automate with Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. You can automatically send an email to a SecOps analyst when a new SaaS app is discovered, and the SecOps analyst can actually click on block, which would then enforce blocking of that SaaS app on the endpoint. Automation. So let's jump into a demo and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're on my PC and we're on slack.com. Now I'm using Slack as an example. This can be uh, virtually any SaaS app. And you can see in Task Manager that the Windows Defender ATP process is running. And so Defender for Endpoint is actually running on the machine. And so when I try to browse to that SaaS app or I download its client and I try to use that SaaS app, that usage will be reported to Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, Microsoft's CASB, Cloud Access Security Broker, and it will show up here under Discovered Apps. And here you can see Slack was indeed discovered. Now with the integration with Defender for Endpoint, we can then enforce blocking of that app. So if I go back to my computer here and I just type in slack.com, Boom, stopped my tracks. Defender for Endpoint is enforcing that. Now, how is it doing that? Well, there's a rich integration here between Defender for Cloud Apps and Defender for Endpoint. So if we go into Defender for Cloud Apps and we click on Settings and go under Cloud Discovery, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, we're gonna check the box to enforce app access. And then we're gonna go to security.microsoft.com, sign in, and then click on Settings, Endpoints, and then go to advanced features and make sure that Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps is enabled and that the prereqs have been met. Now, once you do that, how does this all come together? Well, I can come in here and tag the app as being unsanctioned, which would then send a signal to Defender for Cloud Apps, or sorry, Defender for Endpoint. And if I go to custom indicators of compromise, it would write a custom IOC for all the domains of the app. So here you can see I did it with WebEx, and down here at the bottom here you can see all the different domains it's blocking for Slack. That's because I chose it as unsanctioned. How do we automate this? That's what I really wanna show you, and that's where Microsoft Power Automate comes into play. So check this out. So I created a policy in Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps called New App Discovered, and Anytime it sees an app that's matching one of these categories from the catalog and it's got traffic greater than one megabyte, create an alert and then send that alert to Microsoft Power Automate and execute what we call a playbook. This is really cool. And so if we go over and look at that Power Automate flow, this is what it looks like. So each time an alert is generated in Defender for Cloud Apps, it's got a connection there. It's gonna run through a for each loop. So it's gonna pull the entity out of that alert and it's gonna parse the JSON, which I'll talk more in a second here of how this works, but it's gonna look specifically for app ID right there. Now there's a few people at Microsoft that helped me with this. You know who you are. Uh, I will copy this and put it in the YouTube video description if you wanna try this on your own and, and test it and play with it. Now once it parses through that JSON and pulls out the app ID, it's then going to send an email and it's going to send an email to the SecOps analyst, in my case, Matt, and it's gonna give them two options, to allow or block. Those are the buttons that are gonna show up in the email. And I've got some custom text here in the body of the message, and we're gonna tell it what the name of the cloud app is. Now, based on that, it's gonna then run through some conditions. So if you click on allow, then it's gonna tag the app as being sanctioned, and it's gonna use the app ID that pulled from the JSON file. If it's not, if you don't choose allow, i.e. you choose block, then it's gonna tag it as unsanctioned. So what's this app ID all about? Well, if we go back to Defender for Cloud Apps and we actually click on the name of the app on the hyperlink here, check out what's happening in the address bar. App ID equals 23043. It's pulling that out of the JSON and that's what's going into that Power Automate flow for app ID. So folks, there you have it. That's how we can automate it. So what does this look like in real life? Well, if we open up my email, this is the email that the SecOps team would receive. Now again, you can highly customize this. I'm just showing you a demo here on my YouTube channel, but that's the beauty of it. You can customize it to your heart's content. 
And here you can see a new SaaS app has been discovered. I've actually found two SaaS apps, Drift and Slack, and I can choose to allow or block. And when I click on that, it's gonna run through this flow in Power Automate, and then it's gonna automatically tag the app as being unsanctioned. And then that's gonna write a custom IOC to Defender for Endpoint, and then that blocks access to the app. Really, really cool. Now, what I want you to think about is what are the possibilities with this? So if we go back and we look at that policy in Defender for Cloud Apps, check out the filters. I can filter on a number of different things. I can also say, um, I can also uh, do, do things around send an email, send as a text message, I can set a limit. So think about the different filters for this, but then think about your Power Automate flow. I showed you just kind of the tip of the iceberg of what's possible. What other things downstream actions can you add to this flow, right? Send a Teams message, create a ticket and service now, do a number of different things, or just run custom uh, uh, commands. Or do like what I'm doing with the JSON, go run a PowerShell script. Very, very powerful. So what are some of your ideas? Put them in the comments section down below. Maybe I might do a video on it. All right, folks, well, that wraps things up. Hopefully you got some value out of this. If you did, give me a thumbs up because that helps me out and lets me know that this was valuable and I'll create more videos like this. If you didn't find it valuable, give me the feedback in the comments and please click subscribe because you don't want to miss new videos I, I publish. All right, well, hey, I hope you have a great rest of the day. Stay in touch and we'll chat later. Take care.